So I kind of filmed this out of order since the wheel is already painted silver to match the back. But I wanted to do an overview of why I needed to paint the wheel. I sourced a second set of wheels. These are 16 inch phone dials. Uh, my originals were 15 inches by six and a half, and I wanted the 16s for autocross. So 16, I couldn't get um, four wheels that were the same. I actually wanted four 16 by sevens, so they'd all be the same. And I ended up getting two 16 by sevens and two 16 by eights. You really can't tell the difference between the tread side wall. That's a 225.50 16. The other ones were 215.60. 15 so that's the 225 on the 8 inch wheel that's the 225 on the 7 inch wheel you see it sticks out a little bit more but not much difference I, I couldn't get them the same and one of the wheels I got was white so ended up having to paint this one just did the rattle can and I already painted it but I'm gonna go over the steps on how I did that I mostly just wanted to show a before and after there's a ton of videos out there on how to actually paint them one of which I used to to do it so I didn't really do an in-depth how-to I just showed some of the steps and what it looked like before and after this is the wheel before I do any painting or cleaning Okay, I'm just going to wash this down with some regular Dawn dish soap, get all the grease and oils off. We're going to start with some 240 wet dry and then go to four, some 400 to make it nice and smooth. Okay, so I got, got done sanding it with both the 240 and the 400 looks pretty good more importantly it feels pretty good I couldn't film all the sanding while I was doing it just got to get it nice and smooth I took the center cap out I'm gonna paint it separately so I can get nice on the edge here you can see there's a little burn through on the white I'm assuming this wheel was silver before so I'm not too worried about that um, I'm using the Duplicolor Hyper Silver uh, comes with a clear coat that's uh, kind of both bottles. So I'm going to do four coats of uh, the silver and then two coats of the primer. But first I got to tape it off. Okay, so I got it all taped off. If I was really doing this professionally, I would get a, some sort of tack cloth and get all the oils and the rest of the stuff off the wheel. Okay, it's just too hard for me to try to paint and film at the same time, but first coat basically just put a light dusting on it it actually looks more silver than it is in the light but it's kind of peppered right now and then I'll do three more coats and kind of thicken it up on every layer until it's done and then two layers of clear coat so here's how it turned out afterwards it's definitely silver so Goal number one accomplished. It's not perfect, but I wasn't really aiming for perfection. There was a couple rough spots up on the lip that ended up coming back and hitting the third coat of clear coat. And then I got a little ambitious and it got uh, 
a little bit of a run and then I got something in there too and I ended up wet sanding the rim just a little bit with 600 grit just the finest I had helped a little bit but overall it came out pretty good it's actually gonna look better than the other ones that are old and dirty so once I put it back on the car it'll probably stand out more that it's clean but uh, I recently paid someone to paint a wheel on one of my other cars that actually wanted to look really good and for $165 I wasn't real happy with the outcome it had some pitting in it and I was pretty unhappy and then they said well we can another two weeks and we can we can sand it down and basically do it the way we should have done it and it was an hour drive away and I didn't want to wait and leave it and come back again so I just kind of complained and they gave me a discount they knocked it down to a hundred bucks but I don't mind paying for stuff but if I'm paying somebody to do something I expect it to be better than what I can do so this time I thought I'd do it myself with a rattle can and honestly it came out almost as good for twenty dollars and a little bit of time and effort if I was really concerned I would sand it down more wet sand it some more with some finer point paint and also use a, a, a real spray gun and just instead of rattle canning it but uh, for rattle can this came out pretty uh, pretty good so I am happy with it it's time to put it back on the car old wheel new wheel this is a 15 inch with 215 60 15 wheels 500 tread wear tire and this is a Toyo R888 it's a 225 50 16 also a phone dial freshly painted